in this video we'll download all of the best extensions for Visual Studio Code and a Chrome extension and a program as well that makes development really nice and smooth. So we'll just quickly create an index.html file and use the explanation for the uh, Emmet, get a quick uh, HTML template out. And we'll just make a paragraph saying hello world. This will be used to demonstrate uh, some of the extensions. <laughs> so you can click the extensions tab, uh, five down. And first one we'll need and will be live server. And live server by uh, Ritwick. We'll go ahead and we'll install that. And essentially what this does is gives you hot reloading. So for most of the uh, static sort of HTML, CSS, JavaScript based uh, files, we can see if we make a change in Visual Studio Code, uh, that they'll be updated. So we just saved it in Visual Studio Code and we can see the output on the live server. And, and the next extension that we'll want is um, the auto rename tag. And this is essentially, uh, so if we have like a paragraph as we do here and we change the first part of it to a H2, it also changes the second part of the tag to a H2. Uh, that just speeds things up when we're changing elements. The next extension that we'll use will be uh, the prettier extension. This is a code formatter. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll install that and essentially this can, oh, we'll, we'll set up it um, so that we'll go to preferences, we'll go to settings and we need to have uh, single quotes on save. So rather than double quotes everywhere, we'll use single quotes, but to do that, we must turn format on save on in the settings that will allow Prettier to format it every time you save something and then we search for prettier and we can look for the single quotes and we can turn that on and if you're in react or something using jsx you can click that on for that but i won't be needing that uh, so let's go ahead and we'll make um, just a test javascript file just to see the results of the prettier so we'll just do a console log just anything really with double quotes, hello world, and then we'll do some spacing that, and then you can see when we save it, it gets rid of this extra spacing and switches it back to single quotes. Uh, so it's a very nice formatter. Uh, the next extension will be some IntelliSense. Um, so we want IntelliSense for all our CSS classes in HTML. So if we make something in CSS, we want to be able to see that uh, when we're adding a class in the HTML, basically. So we'll go ahead and we'll make this test CSS file. We'll just make a class. We'll call it. So, yep. And we'll just do the uh, text transform to uppercase. And now uh, we expect to see this class in the HTML. We'll go ahead and we'll just link this um, style sheet here using uh, link CSS and they'll point towards the test.css as the href for that um, style sheet. Now if we add a class to an element we would uh, we should expect to see uppercase written here. We'll go ahead and we'll fix that CSS file. Um, now, why we're not seeing this is sometimes we need to do a reload. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll reload Visual Studio Code, we'll just 
So I've just done a reload. I closed and opened up Visual Studio Code. And now we can see the IntelliSense working. So if we type uppercase in the HTML, we can see the transform. And yeah, it's really nice to have the IntelliSense. So the next extension we'll be looking at is uh, Bracket Pair Colorizer. And this just, uh, if we have like nested uh, code, if statements within if statements, it just helps identify uh, where, which are the uh, opening brackets and which are the closing brackets, also with the curly braces. And it just makes it a lot easier for readability purposes. So I'll just do this if statement. So if true, um, and then we'll do another one. We can see that we've got the yellow curly brackets on the outer if statement and the nested if statement has the purple. And that's just really nice uh, feature to have. So let's bracket pair colorizer. The next extension we'll be taking a look at is the um, just the uh, JavaScript ES6 code snippets. And these just allow us to quickly generate some quick JavaScript code. So CLG is a console log, and that just saves us a few T strokes. So that's one of the main ones that I like to use. And there's also, you know, just generating the function NFN generates an arrow function. And you can just go ahead and click tab to enter in the parameters of that. So just sort of a boilerplate there. So CLG, NFN, and there's a whole bunch. You can look into the documentation of that. Uh, I won't be going into all of them, it's just to show you the extension. Um, so the next extension that I would like to take a look at is the um, code spell checker. And this checks, like, make sure even our comments and our code is just uh, into correctly. So we install that and we can see that code spelt with an extra D gets underlined. Uh, you can still compile your code all nicely, it's just to, for development purposes, help spots uh, any misspelt code or comments. So material icon file, um, this is a nice extension. It helps, uh, it's not so much for the coding, it's more for viewing your files and this helps if you have a lot of files and folders and subfolders. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll search for that in the extensions. Not sure what's going on there for a second, but okay. So material icon theme, go ahead and install that. And now you can see the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript files, they all have nice little icon there. Uh, Git Lens. This is sort of uh, Git supercharged. So we install that. It just, there is a built-in Git uh, with Visual Studio Code in the third tab there, and I do like to use that, but Visual Studio Code, um, I mean Git Lens, sorry, has uh, some extra sort of things in it. Uh, in terms of making it easier to push repositories and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but, you know, you don't have to use that if you like the terminal. Uh, I use Angular, so this is where you download Angular Snippets version 9 or whatever front-end uh, framework you're using. So if you're using React, you might want the React Snippets. But I'll install these Angular Snippets. Um, I'll also install a CSS framework, so you could install a Bootstrap, but I'll... I like the uh, flexibility of this Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. Uh, great utility first uh, framework and it gives you more control over the classes. Uh, so it's definitely something looking to do. So the next thing isn't an extension, but it's a Google Chrome. Um, it's a Google Chrome extension rather than Google Studio Code extension. That's JSON Formatter. And JSON Formatter it helps to sort of uh, visualize JSON code. So if you're making an API call, you've reached an endpoint, um, it's, it sort of helps uh, you to visualize it in
So yeah, you can see the indentation, the different colorings uh, between the raw and the past uh, JSON formatted uh, data. There is a setting to use to make it dark theme. Can't remember if I went here exactly to do that, but uh, something you might like if you like the dark sort of look. Uh, yeah. So the final thing we'll take a look at is Seven Taskbar Tweaker, and this program I mainly use to separate different instances of the same of two separate Visual Studio Code code bases. So sometimes it's annoying if you go to click on the Visual Studio Code icon and you have to navigate to the particular uh, project that you're in. If you want to separate um, or create multiple uh, taskbar icons, you can do that with this program and it's good for front end and back end or if you're working on multiple code bases or something like that. So you can go ahead and go to uh, this website here and download that. Um, Yeah, on the other screen there okay and this is just you know your usual installer so you know if you want start menu or whatever just follow the instructions basically install it very simple uh, it's very simple to do and i can't actually show you the output of this because i am screen recording uh the screen not including the taskbar but essentially it's just you know, a separate icon for the same program if you have multiple instances of it. Uh, yeah, so they're all the main extensions and um, Google Chrome extension as well and the program to really speed up and make your workflow more efficient uh, for Visual Studio Code.